What's happening? I'm scared. Oh, I was talking to the baker, but he became very quiet. The floating bacon. No. Spit all the bacon. The bacon is adrift. I mean, having informed the baker, having his agreement, um, we'll continue. Um, something I have gone ahead and done for you as well. Um, on the um, map index for anyone who's interested in looking at that, that has been updated now, so there's a new column in there. The territory column, which marks, you know, basically which of these auras are in. Uh, if any. Yeah. Uh, chat can also have this if they want it, but... So, where has everyone gone to then? Let's have a look. I he went to the library. Yep, you went to the library. So I'll talk to you later because it's going to take a while to get through the stores. Yep. Uh, where did Zoe go? Up around on our blue. They oh. are Mother Eleanor. Let's move the token to the side because you're sitting away Mother Eleanor's token is stored. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to Fine. sit you on no, you. You have no way of knowing. I'm blind. Kinda. Uh, what's the rush? What's the rush, Zoe? Uh, troublesome time. It seems the mayor has gone power hungry, and wants to kill a lot of people. There's no way. There's no way he would do so. He suffered enough casualties as it is. The thing is. We just got a little that says that is exactly what he's going to do. Troubling it is. Might need to pull, I might need to pull some people back then. Keep, keep them inside the emergency centre instead of on the patrol. It's going to risk more people's lives. What are we going to do? He's the mayor, but what can we do to stop him from starting a war? We will not do anything. We will not do anything. I see no. I am not. I am not interested in risking people's lives and in, in whatever whatever might occur. But he's going to kill people if we don't do anything. And and if we and if we do something, he'll end up killing more of us. I don't know what I should do about it. Zoe, you you may do as you wish. Though, so on my recommendation, you 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 just you just stay here, and as the Lord Mayor Char does, if he does do what you say, just let just let him roll past. But that I'm sure he won't. I'm sure he won't let, kill a hospital that's not that's not even trying to oppose him as it is. But what about all those people that can't defend themselves? It seems wrong to just abandon them. As many of them. Can. Okay, can I'll take I'll take them into the hospital. We're not fighting, that's just risk that's just risking more lives than we need to. I understand. I just wanted to warn you. He had quite a list of people he wanted to kill. Meanwhile. Um Raphael went quite a long distance. Laura did speak to the baker. Hmm. Where is that? Oh yeah, because Bollard is um, a potato. Bollard is a dribbling fool. In that case, in that case, back to Laurel. Laurel's oh. ended up outside the Northside Garden, which is heavily fortified. All the way over there. Oh. Oh oh. Dun, so. Dun, dun. What do you like want? Like his ass. Flag saying, I will hail the true empress, or something like that. <laughs> no. Then he's turning around right now. No, as it, as it, as it stands, it just, it just seems very fortified. A lot of the people seem to have moved, basically locked themselves inside the huge, huge garden building and made it basically a fort. Well, 
We'll go there and like uh, you know. He's ready. Bastion. As 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 you approach, you know, some some of them look at you and you just some of them recognize you. Savior, oh, oh hell. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, Laurel. It's good to see you. Uh, Sebastian, Sebastian actually meant he needed to go see you soon. That's, uh, good. I I need to talk to him. You, Seems you give... like he might know what this is about. If you, if you if you give us a minute, he's 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 currently tending to the nightshade. Lord knows that euphemism. A few minutes later, he walks, Sebastian. He walks around. He walks around from one of the corners. Mm -hmm. Ah, Laurel. Also, just just to the building is what is all this? People have been people have been scared of the walkers, so the, so they slowly start moving to moving to me. And with such a hot spot, I decided to make sure everyone here would be safe. Very well then. You have a militia. Well, technically a militia. Right now, it's all it, all its all its job has been do, do, to do is just patrol the nearby area, though. That is uh, very well. You know of what's going on with the mayor, I assume. I have, I have inf, I have a bit of information on it. Not a lot, but I, I have, I have enough friends who I've been able to work it out. He seem, seems like he's going. It seems like he's planning to do something quite big and potentially dangerous. Well, no, Not sure yes. exactly what. Though. I'm trying to get people together. Let's you sort of just you know to go to a little side, maybe a patch of area where there, are not so many other ears listening. He offers to take you to his office. Oh sure, he has an office. Mm -hmm. oh, damn, what's going on in the world? He he, he takes you up, he takes you upstairs to what's basically a studio office, to be precise. The people's gardener. Yes. You know, it, it, you know it's a studio office, so you, you know you can see like his bedroom, like behind like a room divider. Sure. Oh, we'll go there. Him. Well, it seems it's finally happening. All these problems, all the brewing, all the, the criminal affairs. It seems that basically Laura will give him the information he has about how the plague might actually have been something Lord Mayor has. If not intended to happen, then at least he's profiting from it. From the martial law, he, now he plans to take out anyone and basically make this place a lot emptier than it is. Ensure when this is all over, he he can retain his position as Lord Mayor, and he'll be greeted as a savior. As there is no one like you or me left to stop him. Very troubling. Yes, I came to you first. I thought you've always been a pillar of the community from ever since I moved here, and people know you well and have known you their whole lives. If anyone can help inspire them to stand together, it's you. It's the people in this area, at least. Just as, as you see, they've come to you. I can, I can certainly keep them safe within my domain. Though, if what you said that he's going after me is a, um, is a fact, then... In that case, it's the best... You know, look, look around. This is not something I can. This is not something that can just def defend against the trained militia. No, it cannot. But someone will have to. Especially if not us, then who? Look around you. We're just poor, tired, starving people. If we can't defend them, then who will? Look around. You know, I've never been a man who loved fighting. I've never enjoyed enjoyed all this. I just want peace. I want I want people to be good to each other, to create happiness for each other. This is it's 
it's troubling. I, I'm not sure what to do, but something has to be done. And if it can be done, it'll be done with you and not without. Impossible without you. I know this is a lot to ask. I'm asking you to risk your, risk your life. I'm asking you to help me inspire these people to do the same. So that maybe, maybe we can save some people. My, my life's already at risk as it is. As it stands, I have, I'm, there's two ways this, this is going to end for me. I have no intention of risking these people to try, sa to try saving myself. So if, if, I, if, we can't find a if you can't find a reliable way to ensure we can actually try and defend, then in that case, I'm willing to put myself to, as it is, the lamb to the slaughter to, to keep these people safe. Well, you may say so, but would they agree? They came to you. If you leave them, what will they do? They will flee, they will run, they will starve, they will have nothing. It will be anarchy. No, only really that, but are you sure they will let you give yourself up? You say you will protect them with your life, but would they not do the same for you? If so, then we have a whole row of martyrs hmm. all dying for each other. Row of martyrs dying Death for each other. Death is not what I want anyone to end up with. And if we can make it so that we can all just stand on the side while he kills no one, then... That is, of course, the best option. But I don't think we have that luxury. It's, it's hmm, that, the phrase you said before, the row, the row of martyrs dying one after another. I haven't heard that in a long time. I don't think I've ever said something, so... You've, you've never said it, though this, this city has a history of it. At least in the recent years. Very, very well, Laurel. If you, I'll propose it to this. If you can find some reliable way to be, to be, able, to be able to stand as some force, I, I, will, put, I will put forward all, everything we can to help. That's good. And I don't think I need to say this, but right now, do everything you can to prepare. Most likely everyone in here has already been registered and will be killed, as they are your associates. Might as well make that as difficult as possible. I, I, would, I would do as I can. Just, just I, want, I just want to keep, keep this in mind to you. I need, I need your help as much as you need mine. Well, this, uh, this is the first place I came. I know that your name will do a lot to inspire others to come to our aid. So I will be going other places later. My friends are also going to each their own. We are many different people. We have many different connections. And if we all draw everyone together, then perhaps. Very well, Laurel. Well, not, uh, you have much to do. So do I. I'll speak to you soon. Safe, safe travel to you. I don't... I don't want you to fall before the day we have to. Likewise. He then turns and gives a quick look to the fortifications. Not slightly. And with, with that, um, well, yeah, as, as a group, pick, pick a colour you want to represent yourselves on the map. Anything in particular? I like purple. <laughs> I think sure. purple would actually work because it's the middle of blue and red. I thought it was because of Saint's role, but okay. <laughs> that could work. We can go with that, you know. That. Now I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even, even if it has, a, even if purple is always meant like aristocracy. It is so we're going to be the Shauna of this uh, Saint's <laughs> role. The, the what? Hang Shauna. On. Hang on. Hang on. Um, Shanti. Yeah, oh, Shanti. Shanti. You mean Shanti? Yeah. Uh, right. No, because uh, she doesn't do drugs. Yeah. Well, Shandy, yeah, I mean, it depends you know, which Shandy you're on about. The old true. Shandy doesn't do drugs. The... Well, the old Shandy was the like... Old... You know, well, it depends what old drugs. you mean. Oops. Wait, yeah. old I mean, in time row... or age old? Yes, yeah, Saints, Saints Row Shandy oh, yeah. <laughs> did uh, all the drugs. <laughs> she did all the drugs. Did in the light, light bolt. 
in the new modern day Shandy kicked old Shandy's ass. Spoilers alert. <laughs> what? The game has been out for like two years. Yep. Yeah, but outrageous. if I haven't played it, so then... it's gonna be. If you haven't played it, there's an excellent let's play of it on our channel. There it is. Um, <laughs> mean <laughs> meanwhile, Raphael arrives at a decently fortified location. Sure. Yeah, he will f f flash the secret hand sign or whatever and get inside. Caw -caw. <laughs> yes, the secret hand sign, as you put it. <laughs> do it, do it, get a bird. Are you flipping the bird? Is that what you're saying? I, I'm doing to get a bird. You're doing it to get a bird? Hmm? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, Nairo is there. That, that's why. <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> Car? <laughs> Caw, caw, caw. Caw. Give me a second, then. I think it should be me. <laughs> I don't. I don't think all sound like that at all. No, no I'm no. not saying. Oh, you could just say I'm just a birdie too. <laughs> if you don't know how to say, it, sound um, like a bird. Like Raphael a bird. always get mad. It's so unfair. It's it just happens. Be Raphael <laughs> goes onto the papers and she's mad. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you might get some maps later. Maybe we can map out your manor. Holy crap. All the houses, well, if my house isn't burnt down. <laughs> Maybe you should get your family out of here. So, so you know, Ra Ra Raphael is greeted in by the people outside. You know, they they recognise you and, you know, you can give the correct... You, you can give something to identify yourself. Probably something to do with Crimson again. <laughs> Yes. He steps in, asks if Crimson is around. No, Crimson was called away back to, well, another outpost somewhere. All right, then it will ask for Iris. Ah, she's in a meeting right now with the Priest of the Black Butterfly. Well, I shall, um, it's quite urgent. Do you remember the way to go? Yes. Very well. You'll be able to, you'll be able to fi find her. Just knock on the door and wait. Out of my way, peasants. <laughs> They're not all peasants. Just a lot of them. Peasants who care about who rules this place. <laughs> They're my idealists. Idealistic peasants, but peasants. Presence of idealism. For a second, I was not sure if it was this door or this door. You you knock. You know you're you're waiting there for, you know probably about thirty seconds or so, and um, a voice calls out, "Come in." You you, you see Iris looking across the t table straight at you. Ah. One of Crimson's associates. I apologize, she's not here right now. She, she was called to do more urgent business, apparently. Well, that is quite funny. I am actually here to see you, Iris Bons uh, Bronzebane. Ah, I see. You know, she, she makes a hand gesture and the door's closed behind you. Why would that be? Well, it seems like our uh, Honourable Lord Mayor is planning to, uh, well, so to speak, raid the quarter, uh, killing off dissidents and other people he simply don't like. He's going to use the plague as a, um, as a cover to, uh, to enact his martial decrees, and yours is one of the factions, and your hideout is what he's going to be targeting. I suspect that within a week or two, a lot of soldiers are going to march up the, uh, the uh, main the road here and start uh, basically raiding the different buildings, perhaps even torching them. Since <coughs> your your people have helped us in the past when we needed it, I will extend this courtesy to you and war warn you in return. Do you have any proof of this, or is this just, or is this just what, or is this just acting you've heard of? We have a letter dictated by the Lord Mayor himself and stolen by his uh, scribe. I see. Hmm. She she seemed to consider. Hmm. Uh, those 
Those back at our, our headquarters thought they, they were worried about me starting a revolt. It looks like it's happening in reverse. Never mind. Thank, thank you for the information. It, lo it looks like I need to change the patrols into, ac into active military duty. Um, my group, although we are not um, particularly fond of your political agenda and don't particularly want to al ally ourselves with you at this point, we have nevertheless decided to oppose the Lord Mayor and uh, perhaps we can work out some kind of alliance. We have a decent number of connections in the, in the district and we are trying to mobilize all the forces to mm, oppose him. We do not uh, plan to sit idly by while the Lord Mayor slaughters innocents. Hmm. You might you might not agree with what we what we want to do, but you will. But I do. I also agree with what what you're saying. We need we need to stop this. So the re the reason we fight have just has just a, just shown itself to our face. Which also hmm. means we should pull more people together using well, power. <sighs> well, common enemies makes for strange bedfellows, and uh, well, uh, the two of us in the same bed is not that strange after all. We. Uh, Although we are not as precisely friends, I do not consider you and your people to be enemies. Saying in the same bed, she gives you like an icy cold glance to you. <laughs> Raphael doesn't pretend to notice that. Frostnip. As it stands, y yes. For, yes, associates, allies, friends, however you want to, to call ourselves. Very well. I, sh I shall begin banding the people banding together all those I have and making sure they're geared out. We made sure we stockpiled any goods. We were, we were worried about any possible raids during this. A full-blown a full civil war was not our expectations, however. She makes a gesture and um, some people leave the room. So. You say you say yourselves you're you're pulling together some people. Do you, do you have any idea how much power you're able to associate? The Lord Mayor has a lot at his disposal, a lot more than we can just easily rally up at any moment. Well, I, well, I don't think I, uh, we are planning to do an open assault on him and his stronghold. More of a um, well, a guerrilla type of warfare. I'm not making this any easy for him. Move away, um, as in any fight. I have learned that the best, best way to get out alive is to not get hit at all. And so we should stay on the move, be flexible. Uh, not to give him a, a sitting target, but rather a moving one. Shrugs, that seems the most uh, prudent to me. But I am but a simple duelist. I'm not a tactician or a strategist. Shrugs again. As far as the, the different allies we have, well, we are trying to ally with um, well, the workshop in the south, for instance. We have certain connections within the guard. And perhaps some of the guardsmen can actually join us in, in our struggle. We are also um, allying with Sebastian Kailin at, um, at the gardens. Hmm. And securing the, um, the help, uh, if not the battlefield prowess of Mother Elena and the church. Mr. Alina looks towards you as well. Hmm. It, it looks it looks like it's time for my god for my for my god's agenda to also be filled. Ch ch change when it change when opportunity brings itself. <sighs> Iris Iris looks back towards you. So this is it, so is this actually the time? Very well then. I, what I recommend then is consolidate whatever force you have and then meet, then meet me back here. We need, with whoever you manage to gather together, we need to have some kind of unified strategy together. We're not tacticians either, though I do like your thinking. Guerrilla warfare will make it harder for them. If I looks around, uh, perhaps this is, um, this is something of a... Uh... A uh, loaded spot. Might, might I suggest the more neutral ground? Perhaps uh, the uh, the excellent barroom of the Lucky Badger. He smiles. 
I am sure the good barkeep uh, can let us uh, hire the, all of the tavern, all of the establishment for, uh, for an afternoon or an evening. The local tavern becoming, becoming the hotspot of a conspiracy theory. When is it not? <laughs> she, 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 she smirks to you. <laughs> you know, I think I'll take you up on that deal. She, she looks to Sister Alina. I'm expecting you to come, come as well. Yeah. They seem, they seem to talk, talk between them for, for a minute and look back towards you. Very well. And on top of that, though, being this seems to being this turns out to be a successful relationship in trying to defend, you'll have all the supplies we manage to gather as well for whoever you manage to pull. Okay, nods. And I believe well Crimson let you see our storehouse, so you know our supplies are not small. Indeed. It seems to me that we can... Well, we, our, our group has a fair, fairly good reputation in the community. I think I, I do believe that we can pull together a fair amount of people. I hope at least. But yes, if then we have an accord, I suggest talking more strategy um, in earnest uh, a bit later tonight, perhaps. Very well. I will go and forewarn the good barkeep that uh, we are coming. And this, this is going to be one long night. We might need to prepare some ale as well. I am sure he can suffice. And um, with that then, Raphael will say his farewells and uh, leave. It's back, back at the city meanwhile. Where did, uh, is Zoe doing anything else right now? Time. It says in the chat. Very well. Meanwhile, at the refugee camp. Yeah. All approaches to the camp. Does it look fortified as well? Um. Well, depends what you mean by fortified. Um. I mean, there are like small barricades, clearly designed to you know, hold back walkers. It's, it's in no combat state. The defenders would have barely an advantage on this ground. All right. Well, there's a lot of them, right? There is a lot of them. A lot of people. <laughs> you could make a barricade out of people at this rate. Well, oh, yeah, I, you know, that's not what he was thinking, but all right. Human shield. That is the next warfare. You know, we, we do it 300 style, I, you know, <laughs> he attacks and we build a freaking wall of all the soldiers' corpses. Exactly. No, I thought we would be the Persians. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, no, we just smash around. against the trained soldiers, just pile on, just keep going. At some no. point, they will, like, come up and surrender. No, no, you, you, will, you will leap off of my back and throw a bomb in the face of the Lord Mayor. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> we show that he can bleed. Yep. The bomb explodes right at his cheek. Yep. Blowing up his face with fire and death. Yeah. There's someone who clearly the commander is, you know, basically trying to instruct everyone where to go. Apparently the, the de facto ruler, the guy with the most thugs. You're not sure if he's the guy with the most thugs, but he's definitely a de facto ruler. Yeah. It was just from the picture, like behind him, I see like people holding chains. I'm not ignore that. Was like, oh. What map are you? It kind of looks like a her. Yeah, well, Laurel walks walks into the camp. That that is the picture of a damn slaver. Look at him. <laughs> that is the slaver. <laughs> I can buy so they're, like they're holding them to punch you, like hit you with them. Yeah. No, I think I think that's like all the medicals yeah. he's holding up the prisoners behind him. Oh, all right. Well, you know, Laura, I don't I think he's a good guy. He ruled a refugee camp of like poor, downtrodden people. Mm-hmm. Sure so what that's, if he has slaves? That is pretty, pretty, a pretty tough place, I think. Mm. Laura doesn't see any slaves on chains. No, I don't have chains. If they had chains, 